Welcome back to Let's Play Carrion. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're on the hunt for the last of those containment units. And I have found the area where we will locate it. Ta-da! The uranium mines. Exactly what we needed. And all it took was perseverance. I didn't need to check a guide or anything, which I feel good about. As you might expect. Yes, we came to this one before. But I could not figure out the secret. Sure. Oh, that's not down. Ah, yes, that's right. Yes! Here we are. Uh, I got a note here. I wrote it down and everything. Uh, shout out to KOR for dropping the hint that uh, the trick here might be recharging. Can I? Hmm. I thought it meant I was supposed to, like, loop around here and then... can't actually seem to reach back in. Damn it, I thought that was going to be the trick. So I need to be small. I need to get from... about here... to... back over... here... without running out... of juice. And yes, I've gotten some upgrades for that, but I don't know that that will be enough for that to be the trick. Can I... Maybe... No, that's not it either. Shit! And it's right in the middle, so it won't be any closer on this side. Piss drink. I mean, I could give it a shot. You know, with a longer bar and all that. Damn! I didn't recharge my energy first, you know, like a big old fool. Embarrassing. And... go. Oh, why didn't that work? Because it takes a second. Nope, that just doesn't work if I try to do that. Even if there was a bomb thing in here, I could never get it all the way around down there in fast, uh, fast enough, I mean. Shit. Can I... No, there is absolutely no way I can hit that with a web. Oh, shit! That's the trick I was missing! I didn't know you could do that. Energy gets channeled by the uh, the webbing too, because like yeah, I guess it's organic. It's made inside the flesh's body. V. 
Victory is mine. I just wanted to savor that moment, the last one of all. And one more Electrosis! Containment units, 9 out of 9. Maximum energy level increased. Achievement unlocked, Jared Stultz. Gain access to all 9 containment units. Oh fuck, I 100%ed the achievements. <laughs> nice! 21 out of 21. I appreciate that. Uh oh. Okay! That was good. I guess Jared Stoltz, because it has jar in it, like the other uh, puns. I'm gonna look up who that is. I have learned that Jared Stoltz is a staff member from Devolver Digital, though I'm not actually sure which, uh, what his job is. Onwards and upwards. Literally. Er, except in this case. Back to the frontier. Yeah, pretty much doubles the length of the bar there. I think I could make it now, except that, of course, that, uh... That was one of the energy upgrade tanks, so I would have needed that one to do it. Uh, that's not it. That's the, uh... Reef base, I think. Sure, while well, I'm here. No, 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 it was right there. Or no, it's Bunker, not BSL. Excuse me. Yes, here we are. It was, uh... My friend Ronan Drake who suggested to me that, uh... Well, his read on the ending is that... Whenever the flesh consumes a human, it absorbs all their memories. And after absorbing the memories of hundreds of people... You know, maybe it was the first time it had ever absorbed self-aware uh, entities. You know, that was my thought. And, uh... Maybe it just... it really did just want to try being human. Maybe it was, you know, that guy specifically. Because, uh... Well, his memories are important. They were the story of how the, fl uh, the flesh came back to life. How the flesh very nearly escaped from captivity immediately. You know, they're the only ones that the flesh was sort of ruminating on. And that's what the flashbacks were. I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand why it was tr those were triggered by interfacing with a computer. Oops, that was not smart. I have to get back up there.
Let's do this. Flush train. Should I just eat everybody for the sake of being a monster one last time? Yeah, why not? Broken, that's why I can't do that. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? Watch this. really never had self-aware memories before. You know, what if it was just eating animals and absorbing their instincts? It had just never occurred to it that things could occur to it before. scanned me and, uh, didn't count. Alright, for the sake of, uh, you know, continuity, since I haven't actually done that yet, let's go find out that that doesn't work. Nope. It still senses me. All right, Flesh. It has been a really weird and really enjoyable time, but I've got to tell you... I guess it's time to say goodbye. You will not be easily forgotten. And whether there's a sequel with you in it or not, I've had a really good time being a monster with you. Later. Time for human to rise. And here we go. New DNA absorbed parasitism. No data available.
do the realism walk, because people don't sprint everywhere. Yornick had a delightful story about human becoming a vegetarian and becoming a very strange but very popular co-worker at the uh, office where he gets a job. I guess he'd have experience doing everything that these people did, huh? Let's see. Massively gender fluid. Uh, pretty much uh, omnisexual. Just all these different orientations floating around in his memories. Uh, his favorite food is everything. His favorite genre of music is all of them. And, I mean, really, the only things that... It's been so many people that surely the only thing all of them have in common is that they're human, they worked at this facility, and they did not die pleasantly. You know what? This actually feels more right without a, uh... Like, screaming survivor there in the side. Where did that go? Oh, wow! That first bathroom led right here. So I guess those clothes are made of all natural materials, huh? Nothing synthetic in there! I love how much more dramatic this is. Let me just, uh, no, you can't do that. I think I'd have checked that the first time. That animation for getting off the ladder is just the most awkward thing, or just continues the climbing animation to the side. It's really charming. By the way, I never said it before, but I really like how there's a different texture for when the ladder override, uh, overlaps one of these, like, giant door uh, slots. No idea that I was this close to the end this early on. Freedom was right here this whole time. Have a nice day, researcher man. I wonder why all the doors have holes in them. I really do. It's an odd design. I feel like this is probably just going to play out the same way. find out. It's been nice knowing you, Hugh, the flesh, whatever you want to be called. This life is yours now. Make the most of it. Goodbye. I feel pretty good about that. I had a hell of a good time with this game. Sometimes you don't need a strong story. Sometimes you just need a set of abilities and a hapless audience to experiment with. <laughs> that really does make me sound like a monster. I gotta say, there's something just so satisfying about being able to grab these fully grown people and just thrash them around like a rag doll, slam them into the ground so hard they break in half, and it's like, yes, I am power. I am hunger. 
I am fear. And then you meet the guys with the guns, and everything turns around. But, you know, I do like the unbridled power trip. Shout out to Lula and Biggie S, even if I can't remember there being any dogs in the game. I mean, you'd think, if it was a reference to the thing, that they would find a way to include dogs, but... I wonder if that's like a special request Devolver has, that the credits of every game feature a nonsense, uh... credit attributed to Fork Parker. See, I initially read that as Lionhead Technologies and thought, wait, the guys who made Fable are still around? Oh, there's a Rick Stultz. Oh, there's Jared Stultz. I did think the controls got a bit hinky, uh, when you get big, as I said a million times, and I, but other than, you know, being frustrating, I don't really see any way that that could get in the way unless it happened to happen while you were in the middle of a fight, which could be very bad. Um, it didn't for me, but, you know, it totally could, so I'm just mentioning that. Uh, let me see. I did feel like there could be more story. I thought that I t thought just today something that this game would really benefit from is in-universe like logs, not like audio logs. You're getting, uh, you know, your uh, average adventure game. I can't even think of a single example off the top of my goddamned head. Doom Three. There you go. That one had audio logs in it. <laughs> Jeez, what is with me today? Um, but I'm thinking like specifically Metroid Prime style, where they had these text logs everywhere, and it fills in the uh, a lot of the flavor that is otherwise lacking from a game where, in terms of what you actually do, you mostly just follow a linear path. Well, it's not fair to say it is a Metroid game, but, you know, if you don't read any of the log entries, I feel like that game is much less exciting. You're welcome. Thank you for making this game. I have very much enjoyed it. So yeah, the ending is the same. I guess it's about a monster learning how to be human. Um, why is it over there? Oh, that's where the mouse is. There we go. Nice spiraling in the middle. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, just imagine that, uh, you know, you find logs lying around saying things like, uh, you know, Day 3, the sample is growing much faster than predicted. We are, uh, changing our, uh, forecasts accordingly. You know, day 7, at this rate, the sample will, uh, replicate into a full-sized creature within days. The, uh, implications are exciting. Day 34, we have discovered that the meat we are feeding this creature isn't being eaten, it's being absorbed directly into its own biomass. We're not sure what this means, but we are fascinated. And you know, just, you don't have to like go into like the whole timeline of the Relith Corporation, or like the long and storied history of the flesh as a species. I just mean that you could add some more context to what you're doing. And you know, I will admit, you know, maybe the game doesn't really need that. Maybe I just think that because I'm the guy who always puts the story in a game first. But because, you know, let's face it. It always comes down to a question. Do I recommend that you play this game? And as long as you're aware that the... You know, the story is kind of weak that uh, the controls can be wiggly, and that, I will be frank, the ending is a bit of an anti-climax. Uh, yes, yes, I do recommend you play this game. You know, if you're looking for something where you're not, you know, Joe Human trying to save the world for the 375th time, you know, not that there's anything wrong with saving the world, it's always fun, I'm just saying, if you're looking for something different in a game, this might be right up your alley. Before we go, I would like to give a, uh, 
Last very special shout out to my good friend Segi for gifting me this game. <laughs> I have to say, I really enjoyed letting my inner monster out for a stroll and just enjoying being the bad guy for a while. So thank you for that, Segi. I have had a lot of fun with this game. And I hope you enjoyed watching this series. <sighs> that being said, I guess it's time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and on behalf of myself, the flesh, and all of the people it has, uh, convinced to join with its unity, <laughs> I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Carrion. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and I hope you'll join me for my next video series. We might be back to this at, uh, Christmas time. Maybe not. Either way, I've had a good time with this series. And I feel good about ending on a high note. Have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!